Hi friends, I am Elizabeth. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today, uh, it has been a long time since I had a video posted in this channel. Many of the queries that I often frequently get is about the uh, what uh, fabrics I use uh, using my Bunnet Sew and Go 8. So today, uh, I thought I'll show you a project which is underway so that you can understand uh, the kind of fabric that it can sew and also the kind of projects you can you make on this uh, sewing machine. So, uh, this video is specifically about Bernard Sew and Go. So, uh, I think many other sewing machine also has similar capabilities, but I'll right now talk with you in terms of Bernard Sew and Go 8. So, this is a uh, phone pouch that uh, is under construction. I can show you. So, it will come like this. This is a phone pouch like this. Okay. So, it will come. So, it's under construction. So, I just want to sh show you the materials that I'll be using. So uh, this is actually a, this this sheep uh, print is actually cotton canvas. So you can see the thickness of the fabric. This is the thickness. It's a beautiful fabric that I have been holding for a lot quite a long time. And uh, this is a normal cotton fabric that we use for the uh, clothes, baby clothes, or whatever. Okay, so in this project when I'm using here, uh, see I have uh, you sewn through two layers of cotton canvas and I have layered this cotton canvas with something called as a canvas, uh, I think this is called as a dhoti canvas, I'm not very sure about the, you know, the, but you can see right, it's like a woven canvas, it's a woven, thick, quite thick canvas so these these this part of the flap has uh, you know uh, that kind of uh, a canvas here before this one so that it is kind of sturdy can you see this it's sturdy okay so i've been able to you can see the top stitching part i have done a top stitch here okay okay so another is is this is something called as a fusible fleece okay so it it, it has a it had a sticky part i st i have stuck it to the fabric okay so uh, and here also see um, okay so this is one thing so this is the thickness of the fusible fleece so it has a sticky part i have just done this here okay so now what i will do is i will try to stitch the lining part of this at it this fabric i have placed the same dhoti canvas here then i uh, i have kept the same canvas here and so here also this 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 stitch is quite thick and if you come to this this part okay or let us come to this part this has a uh, canvas interface in here as well as two layers of uh, cotton canvas and two layers of do the canvas here so it has kind of stitched um, kind of neat I wouldn't say the finish would be as good as uh, can I, uh, finish would be as good as a industrial machine but it will do okay uh, I will also link um, in, in the beginning of the somewhere here I will you know uh, show you the picture of um, uh, bag that I did and that bag was made solely by this canvas cloth cotton canvas cloth uh, so that you and it had actually that that design was much more um, elaborate and it was much more difficult and inside the bag I had to do a bias binding so that was also like seven eight uh, layers of stitching after this I'll be stitching the lining this is a normal uh, cotton corduroy cloth okay so um, once I'm done with all the lining part, you can understand that how many layers of uh, fabric can this Bennett Sew and Go uh, use without much hassle and the stitch quality also. I wouldn't say that it, the stitch quality is like super perfect, but I think around 85 to 95 percentage perfection you will get. And also another thing is that I'm using a 100 by 16 uh, needle. So that makes a lot of difference. That is a needle uh, as you sew uh, thicker clo clothes, you're supposed to use needle uh, of a bigger size. So for this project, I'm using 100 by 16. So I have sewn all the layers through uh, different layers. 
so i need to know there is a opening here in the lining uh, so if here you can see that i have so there are three layers of fabric sorry my baby is making sound so each of these three layers has a interface part of it interface is there and then two layers of fusible face so that is like what is it three three plus two six six plus eight layers so it's not easy you can see that it's not easy uh, and i kind of started here and but these uh, all these stitches are going inside so it will not be visible so that is what i am thinking <laughs>